हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भटनागर वर्किंग एज सीनियर रिसर्च ऑफिसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्नॉमी एट जी बी पंथ यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंतनगर उत्तराखंड हेयर आई विल टेल यू अबाउट द रीजंस बिहाइंड द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मल्च एज वी नो दैट मल्च आर वेरी एडवांटेजेस दे हैव सेवरल बेनिफिट्स एंड मल्चेज आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स एंड ब्रॉडली वी कैन कैटेगराइज मल्च इन टू ग्रुप इन ऑर्गेनिक मल्च for example plastic mulch and organic mulch in case of organic mulch we use organic uh, residue crop uh, residue generally crop material crop uh, biomass is used after the grain harvesting the uh, left over uh, shoot leaf etc are used as a mulch so crop residue are considered as organic mulch so what are the advantages these are written here but what is the scientific reason behind this advantages we will discuss here uh, what is the actual fact behind this advantage jo hum organic mulch use kar rahe hain crop residue use kar rahe hain uske jo advantage ho rahe hain wo to hum jante hain kya advantage hain lekin uske piche ka logic kya hai uske piche ki science kya hai usko aaj hum yahan pe discuss karenge so these facts are very important when we deal a uh, reason assertion type question so reasoning must be clear what is the actual fact what is the science behind this uh, of facts we should know all these things so here we will discuss about the advantages of organic mulch and what is the scientific fact uh, when we use uh, crop uh, residue leaves etc then there is a soil moisture conservation so why there is a soil moisture conservation means when we apply the organic mulch over the soil surface for example uh, this is soil surface and we are applying uh, organic mulch uh like uh, leaves shoot etc then the moisture in the soil uh, remain for longer period so what is the reason that uh, this soil moisture remain in soil means remain in root zone for longer period that's why there is increase in plant growth and yield proper root growth proper availability of moisture the reason is that in uh, normal course in normal soil suppose this is a moisture and the soil surface is not covered by uh, organic residue or crop residue so by the solar radiant energy is there so it is heating heating on soil surface and because of this heating this moisture is evaporated so soil moisture is lost particularly on top soil so this is the problem that in bare soil moisture is lost due to evaporation so radiant heat is there solar energy is there and moisture is evaporated then further from deeper layer moisture is evaporated as the moisture reach on the top layer through capillary action jo niche ki deeper layer mein jo soil moisture hai wo upar ki surface mein capillary action ke through aata hai and then it is evaporated so this is the normal uh, course or normal phenomena of soil moisture loss so this process take place but we can minimize this process we can check this process if organic residues are placed on soil surface then this solar energy is intercepted by this uh, residue and this residue actually act as a physical barrier so physical barrier is there and this residue organic residue means uh, leaf shoot etc act as a insulator aur hum jante hain insulator kya hote hain jo heat ka transfer nahi karte hain conductor hote hain jo heat ka transfer karte hain jo metals hoti hain these are conductor बट दिस ऑर्गेनिक रेजिड्यूज आर इंसुलेटर मीन्स उसको हीट को फर्दर ट्रांसफर नहीं करते हैं सो दिस इज द रीजन दैट दिस हीट इज नॉट ट्रांसफर्ड इन टू द सॉइल एंड देर इज नो एवोपरेशन दैट्स वाई मॉइस्चर रिमेन इन सॉइल फॉर लॉन्गर पीरियड सो एक्चुअल साइंस बिहाइंड दिस सॉइल मॉइस्चर कंजर्वेशन इज दैट क्रॉप रेजिड्यू एक्ट एज ए इंसुलेटर एंड एक्ट एज ए फिजिकल बैरियर ऑल्सो सो इंसुलेटर because these are insulator that's why heat is not transmitted into lower uh, or into the soil kyunki insulator hai isliye heat trap to kar lete hain lekin transmit further niche nahi karte then second whatever moisture is evaporated uh, or through capillary action then they act as a physical barrier to jo niche se jo capillary action se to jo moisture aa raha hai that is restricted because it act as a physical barrier so there is no further evaporation so moisture come from deeper layer to the upper layer but remain in root zone and there is no evaporation of soil moisture so this is the reason that when we apply the mulch there is soil moisture conservation and 
दिस इफेक्ट इज इविडेंट वेरी इविडेंट इन समर सीजन वेन देर इज ए मॉइस्चर डेफिशियंसी तो जब कभी समर सीजन में हम मल्च को अप्लाई करते हैं या स्प्रिंग सीजन में हम शुगर केन में या मेज में जो क्रॉप ग्रो कर रहे हैं उसमें मल्च अप्लाई करते हैं मॉइस्चर बहुत अच्छा रहता है दिस इज द रीजन दैट क्रॉप सर्वाइव बेटर इन बेटर वे और बहुत अच्छी क्रॉप ग्रोथ होती है रूट ग्रोथ अच्छी होती है शूट ग्रोथ अच्छी होती है सो दैट्स वाई इन समर सीजन पर्टिकुलरली इन वाटर डेफिसिट एरिया वेयर सॉइल मॉइस्चर इज लो वी शुड अप्लाई दिस ऑर्गेनिक मल सो दिस इज द एडवांटेज एंड दिस इज द फैक्ट अनदर इज दैट मेंटेन सॉइल टेम्परेचर सो द लॉजिक और द साइंस बिहाइंड द मेंटेनेंस ऑफ सॉइल टेम्परेचर हेयर इट इज नॉट इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज सॉइल टेम्परेचर इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट it maintain the soil temperature when we apply this organic residue okay and this residue actually are insulator as we have discussed and suppose it is summer season suppose it is summer season and we are applying the uh, organic residue so in summer season uh, temperature is about, uh, about 40 degree centigrade air temperature so 40 degree centigrade temperature uh, is here and it is uh, received by a uh, residue and residue as a insulator do not transmit this temperature and suppose soil temperature is about uh, uh, suppose 20 degree centigrade suppose 20 degree centigrade so that's why heat is not transmitted and temperature is maintained 20 degree centigrade suppose if insulator uh, this uh, residues are not there and the heat will move inside the soil and it will raise the temperature from 20 to uh, 25 or 30 Until there is an equilibrium is maintained with this soil temperature and air temperature. Since it acts as an insulator, so in summer season the soil temperature remain low means remain as such. There is no uh, major change. There is a little bit change, but not so uh, high change as we uh, see in case of bare soil. So, जो soil temperature जो low है बना हुआ वो low ही रहेगा. ऊपर का जो heat है वो नीचे transfer नहीं हो पा रही है. इस कारण से सॉइल टेम्परेचर बहुत ज्यादा नहीं बढ़ पाता है और एक रेंज में रहता है तो दैट्स व्हाई इन समर सीजन वी फील सॉइल कूल तो हमें जो मिट्टी लगेगी ठंडी लगेगी बिकॉज टेम्परेचर इज मेंटेन देर इज नो चेंज इन नाउ इट इज सपोज विंटर सीजन एंड इन विंटर सीजन टेम्परेचर एयर टेम्परेचर इज वेरी लो सपोज इट इज टेन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड सॉइल टेम्परेचर इज ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड सपोज देन in this case here this is high temperature so uh, this temperature uh, direction is from soil to soil to air but here when the this heat is moved from soil to air then it is uh, insulator physical barrier then heat is not transferred into the air it means this temperature is maintained into the soil 20 degree centigrade and it is not greatly affected by air टेम्परेचर सो इन विंटर सीजन वी फील सॉइल एज ए वार्म तो हमें क्या लगेगा जाड़ों में जमीन हमें सॉइल जो है हमें गर्म महसूस होगी और समर uh, सीजन में हमें ठंडी महसूस होगी तो यही कुएं के केस में होता है वेल केस में होता है इन केस ऑफ वेल वाटर वी फील वार्म इन विंटर सीजन एंड कूल इन समर सीजन बिकॉज ये जो बहुत नीचे पानी रहेगा तो हीट का ट्रांसफर नहीं हो पाता है वेन वी वो तो अलग कंसेप्ट हो गया वेल का कुएं का यहां जो हम देख रहे हैं इन रूट जोन टेम्परेचर मेंटेन तो देर इज नो मेजर चेंज और नो ग्रेट फ्लक्चुएशन इन रूट टेम्परेचर सो दिस इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक रेजिड्यू दैट दे एक्ट एज ए इंसुलेटर दे आर इंसुलेटर सो दिस इज द रीजन दैट मेंटेनेंस ऑफ सॉइल टेम्परेचर अनदर एडवांटेज इज एडिशन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मैटर एक्चुअली ऑर्गेनिक मैटर लीव शूट एक्सेट्रा and these are uh, plant residue so after uh, some time they decompose and they uh, contribute into organic matter so decomposition is there and because of this decomposition there is uh, organic matter addition into the soil so this uh, this is decomposed into the soil after some time and addition of organic matter and that's why uh, we realize many benefits which are associated with the organic matter and with this organic matter addition nutrient release is there so nutrient recycling also because whatever nutrients are present in leaf shoot etc they are released into the soil so it is a sort of nutrient recycling so addition of organic matter that's why many benefits are there which are associated with organic matter improvement in physical property biological property chemical property as well as 
न्यूट्रिएंट रिलीज व्हिच आर हेल्पफुल फॉर द प्लांट देन इंप्रूवमेंट इन सॉइल एग्रीगेशन दिस इज इंप्रूवमेंट इट इज नॉट इंक्रीज और रिडक्शन इट इज इंप्रूवमेंट इन सॉइल एग्रीगेशन सो सॉइल एग्रीगेशन uh we know that uh, soil particles uh, aggregate into group and this soil aggregation is very important for aeration and uh, air, uh, this water movement proper aggregation should be in soil to maintain the aeration as well as uh, capillary movement of water if there is a large aggregate then soil aeration is good but water holding capacity is poor if uh, micro aggregates are more then water retention is good capillary action uh, capillary rise of water is good and but aeration is poor so aggregation should be in such a way that aeration and water holding capacity is maintained so when uh, this organic residues are used then after decomposition they uh, contribute into organic matter and this is the effect of organic matter that improvement in soil aggregation so in clay soil micro pores are more so in clay soil uh, this is the problem that aeration is very poor water holding capacity is very high so water remain in soil for longer period and it is not good situation so crop suffer from uh, water excess so water excess after irrigation rainfall this is the problem in clay soil heavy textured soil because of more micro porosity aeration is poor so when organic matter uh, is added or or this uh, mulch are used so after decomposition organic matter is added into the soil and this uh, micro aggregation is reduced and macro is improved so aeration is improved to jo clay soil hai heavy textured soil hai usme micro pores bahut zyada hote hain to usme jab irrigation karte hain to water holding capacity bahut zyada hoti hai moisture ko water ko bahut time tak hold kar rehte hain to aeration ki problem hoti hai aur aise soil mein crop mein jo hai वाटर लॉइंग की प्रॉब्लम आती है एरेशन नहीं हो पाता तो जब हम मल्च यूज करेंगे और मीटर ऐड होगा तो माइक्रोपोरोसिटी घटेगी माइक्रोपोरोसिटी बढ़ेगी डेफिनेटली एग्रीगेशन इंप्रूव दिस इज इंप्रूवमेंट एंड एरेशन एंड वाटर होल्डिंग कैपेसिटी आर इन बैलेंस रेशियो सिमिलरली इन केस ऑफ सनडी सॉइल्स माइक्रोपोर्स आर मोर एंड सनडी सॉइल्स कैन नॉट रिटेन वाटर वाटर सो वाटर होल्डिंग कैपेसिटी इज पुअर सो इन सनडी सॉइल एरेशन इज वेरी गुड बट दिस सॉइल्स कैन नॉट रिटेन मॉइस्चर सो दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम वेन वी यूज ऑर्गेनिक मल्च इन सनडी सॉइल they contribute into organic matter so micro porosity is increased so these sandy soils can retain moisture for longer period so this is the impact of organic matter that improvement in soil aggregation so in clay soil aggregation is improved towards improvement in aeration and this in sandy soil soil aggregation is improved and benefit is realized with respect to increased water holding capacity then another advantage of organic mulch is reduced weed growth actually weed uh, this organic mulch when we apply on soil surface act as a physical barrier so emerging weeds suppose these uh, weeds are emerging the soil surface and weeds are emerging here so this is the normal course when we apply the organic uh, residue here so this uh, organic residue these organic residue uh, provide hindrance or physical barrier so emergence is not as good as in case of bare soil so they provide a protection or they offer a resistance to the uh, emerging weeds so weed growth is reduced so in some area mulch is also used to reduce the weed growth so mulch can be used uh, for soil moisture conservation purpose in summer season and in kharif season in rainy season when weed growth is high then mulch can be used to reduce the weed growth so objective depend upon the uh, situation ki hamari situation kya hai humko summer season mein agar hum use karenge to hamara soil moisture conservation acha hoga kharif season mein rainy season mein weeds bahut zyada hote hain wahan use karenge to weeds ki growth bhi bahut poor hogi to yahan aise case mein humko mulch ko thoda zyada dalna padega taki jo niche se weed emerge kar rahe hain unki growth kya ho jaye kam ho jaye another advantage is in soil conservation soil uh, conservation this is very important why there is soil conservation when we apply organic mulch because when we apply the organic mulch on soil surface then they intercept the uh, kinetic energy of rainfall because in rainfall falling rain drop splash the soil and erosion start so it reduce the kinetic energy of falling rain drop number 1 number then uh, number 2 if uh, rain water is flowing on soil surface then they uh, uh, provide the hindrance so run of water is not move as such to jab barsha barish ka pani soil surface pe behta hai 
तो मिट्टी को अपने साथ बहा के ले जाता है लेकिन उस पर हमने ऑर्गेनिक मंच डाल रखी है तो वो उसका एक रेजिस्टेंस करेगा उसकी वेलिसिटी को रिड्यूस करेगा तो उससे सॉइल रोजन भी कम होगा सो टू वे आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नंबर वन फॉलिंग रेन ड्रॉप की जो कानेटिक एनर्जी को रिड्यूस कर देता है इंटरसेप्टिक कानेटिक एनर्जी सेकेंड वन नो डायरेक्ट दिस फ्लोइंग वाटर इज नॉट इन डायरेक्ट कॉन्टैक्ट विद द सॉइल सर्फेस एंड दिस रेजिड्यू ऑफर रेसिस्टेंस सो दैट्स वाई देर इज ऑल्सो सॉइल कंजर्वेशन सो दीज आर दी सम बेनिफिट्स एंड दी लॉजिक और द बेसिस और साइंटिफिक बेस बिहाइंड दिस एडवांटेज सो दिस रीजनिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो वाई देयर इज सो वाई दिस एडवांटेज अकर्ड इन केस ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मल्च सो दिस आर द सम एडवांटेज एंड रीजन्स बिहाइंड थैंक यू वेरी मच